Welcome to my course, Game Development Basics, Week 3, Lesson 10, Level Creation Wrap-Up. So we've learned a lot during this week about level creation and the various aspects. And here I have my level. I made a decision to add a second house into my level. So I have house one and house two. And I also put some lighting in these so the player could see a little bit when they weren't using their flashlight. So each one of them has a light on the exterior, and then they also have some lights on the interior. And I was also able to generate this very cool kind of glowing red sky, a little bit eerie. And then in this house, there's also a couple lights. And when I was creating these lights, I wanted to have something that I could reuse again and again. So I created a new actor called BP Light. And in here, there's a static mesh for the light. There's a sphere to represent a glowing light bulb. And I created a material for this called glow. And then also a point light inside of this. I did notice when using the point light, there's some weird behavior. It might be caused by my mesh where the light is shining through the actor and you're getting these weird squares on the ceiling. So one way we could change that out is we can instead use a rectangle light And this makes it so that we're not shining the light upwards, but we can still get the light down below. And one other thing that I wanted to do quickly was that the flashlight, we have the power decreasing with a print string. I wanted to create a UI element for the player for that. So I'm gonna create a new widget, and this is gonna be called WBP HUD. Let's put this in a new folder called UI. And we'll create a canvas panel and a progress bar. And here's a little mini challenge for you. See if you can figure out how to make this progress bar linked to the power of the flashlight. If you want to attempt this challenge, pause the video now. Otherwise, I'll show you how to do it. So the first thing we're going to need is to get control of the flashlight power. So we can get player character and we can cast this to BP player character. We want to get BP flashlight, and then we'll save this as a variable called flashlight. Now, with our progress bar selected, we can see this percentage here, and we can bind this to flashlight, get current power, get full power. And then if you remember, these are integers which cannot be a decimal value and we need to return a percentage. So we're gonna send both of these to float. And then we wanna divide the current power by the full power and that will give us a percentage of power on our flashlight. And the last thing we wanna do is add that HUD to our player's viewport. So here in the player character blueprint, we're going to say create widget, HUD, add to viewport. And let's test this out now. We could see our bar down at the bottom and when we turn the flashlight on, it'll start to go down. And when we turn it off, it'll start to fill back up, which means we no longer need the print strings. So let's remove those from our functions. Fill flashlight and drain power. And I just want to change the fill color on this to yellow, because for me, it just makes sense that it would be yellow for a flashlight. And there we have it. So for the rest of this week, I want you to just spend some time completing your level, making sure everything looks great. And the next week, we're gonna start building the functionality of our game. So there's a few things we wanna check before we move on to next week. The first thing we wanna check is that the player can't exit the level. So it's good to take some time to go around the perimeter of your level, make sure that none of these gates are missing colliders, make sure that there's no gaps in the colliders, and then of course, make sure that the gate, you can't get through it either. 
The next thing you want to do is make sure that the player can get inside of your buildings. In addition, this one has a staircase, so we want to make sure that we can go up the stairs and move around up here. So just check that your player can get to everywhere you're going to want to be able to get to in the level. And this house has a little porch area here that I might be able to use in the future, so I just want to navigate on that very quickly as well. And once you're happy with everything, I will see you next week where we're going to learn how to start building out the functionality for this game. Hello, this is